Hi guys, it's Claris, and today we're going to do a tutorial on, you guessed it, macarons. And um, I've already done some here, and you can see how these have turned out. I'm not going to show you the shadow because these are just going to be like free falling. Actually, no, I might show you a shadow here. We'll see, or even here. But this is just going to be an exercise on doing some loose uh, macarons with not a lot of detail. Uh, it's a great lesson on blending. So stay tuned for that. And to start off, uh, I'm using Canson paper, Canson watercolor paper. And uh, for my brushes, I am going to be using three of them. For application of water, I'm using my Princeton Neptune number eight. Um, for um, addition of color, I'm using the number six. And then for uh, any details I need, I'm using the silver black velvet in four. And for my colors, I already have like a red here, uh, but I don't mind doing another one. So I have red, I have orange, I have yellow, because these two I can blend to kind of get something like that. Um, I also have a blue and a purple. And the whole point again of using like two colors that kind of blend well together is so I can kind of make it two tone and get that nice watercolor flow, blend, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let's get started. I have my paper towel handy on the side. And uh, yep, let's just get started right away because I don't want to make this a super long tutorial. So to start off, I'm just going to get my brush stamp. Sorry, I have a cold. And then I am going to paint in uh, I'm going to paint into my macaron and I've used some leftover purpley blue that I had on my palette. I'm just going to apply the water and I love Canson paper because I've realized it like really holds the water well. And let's the runny factor happen really nicely too. So I've just applied some water on here and I've left like slight areas of white. Now I'm going to take, sorry, my number, my number six and I'm going to get the blue. And then I'm just going to apply the blue. So I have a fair bit of blue on my brush and I'm just going to press down and just drag over in one sweep and then just kind of make the, the color blend in. And then I'm going to use this brush again and move the water around. So like that. And if you ever feel like there's too much water on your sheet, just take your paper towel and just dab it. Okay. I want to do more blue, so I'm going to go ahead and get more blue from here. And I'm just going to sweep it some more and just add it at the top to get like a nice gradient monochromatic effect with the blue happening. Okay, and then spread that here too, a little bit. And then I'm just taking this brush again and I'm just pulling down the color so it blends nicely. All right, and now once I have this, <coughs> I'm gonna go back into the blue, squeeze me, and I'm gonna get some of the purple and I'm just going to make a really thick lay of color on here. And please, 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 
uh, take note of the white space that I'm leaving. So see how there's like slight bit of white space here and here. You want to get that loose effect. So this is why I am doing the white space. Now I'm going to go back with this brush and I am going to apply water at the bottom. But I want to make sure I'm not touching the blue at the top. Otherwise it's going to drag that color down. And I'm just applying the color without touching the edge. Okay, now I'm just going to wash this off so I can get just the blue. Because I want the middle to stand out more than the center. Because the center has that cream and then the middle. So just put that in there. If you feel like it's too much water, you know what to do. You can always like take your paper towel and then just get some off. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I am going to take some off. And then just using my brush, I'm just spreading it on there. And now I've touched very little bit of it right there so it kind of seeps down now that it's semi-dried and if you want the edge to be more um, saturated or like shadowy just dip your brush in the paint and just go at the bottom and then this way when when this dries you won't have like one standard kind of blue looking um, application of color. I'm going to go back and get some purple and then I'm just going to add one line of it right at the edge. Same thing at the top and this just adds a little bit of detail to a loose rendition of this favorite dessert for quite a few people. And then we're just going to leave it at that. All right, so you can see as it's uh, drying up how that is taking place. I really like it. Um, I hope you guys like it too. I'm just going to do one more and then end this tutorial. Uh, let's do a let's do a pink since I am partial to pink. I am going to apply the color on here, sorry, the water on here, and then I'm getting my red pink on here, and then I'm just going to apply it in one sweep that way. And then I'm just going to highlight this area because it's like a shadow. So it should be like a darker color. And then just the edge a slight bit. Watercolor always dries uh, lighter. So I'm just adding more color just to make sure I get a good emphasis of this red or pink, whatever you want to call it. And now um, for the middle, I want it to be darker. So I am going to actually mix this with a little bit of the purple that I have going on. And I'm just going to swoop this down just like I did in the previous one. There we go. And I really like that, that's pretty. And then do the bottom, again, applying plain water first. And then just so that it doesn't look super purple, I'm just going to take that off and add the pink. Oops, touch the edge, that's okay. And then just get some more and add it at the edge. Do 
doing it on one swoop really gives you a nice smooth line so I like doing that um, and then you can just even go back into the purple if you feel like it's a bit too much and if it's not dried up just add some at the edge because it gives you a shadow effect so you see like the shadow or the rim of the um, of the macaron and it just looks nicer I don't know if you can see it so now that that's still damp I'm just gonna take some of my I have some gray here so I'm just gonna apply the water first at the bottom and I'll touch some of the pink to have that blend in And then I'm going to take some of the gray and just add it very loosely. The edge. Oops, that's too much gray. There you go. And you can always smooth it out by adding water. So it gives you that smooth, smooth, smooth um, transition into the paper. It's not a harsh line. And then there we go. It's done. You can add, just like we've been doing with the macarons, you can add. Uh, light color at the edges so it stands out some more the blend the shadow blend and then leave it at that and this is my quick rendition of macarons I hope you guys have liked this if you have any comments or questions please feel free to note them down below I love reading from you guys I love hearing from you guys I'm also on Instagram and Facebook please follow me there as well and if you've enjoyed these or any of my other tutorials, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll chat soon. Bye.